Hello, Dalens. Brother Jenny TV is the Dowager and other known Dowagers. Uh, not that Brother Jenny TV is other known Dowagers. We're going to be exploring other known Dowagers of Dragon Age lore. In my video regarding possible companions from Tevinter Knights for Dragon Age 4, the character that sparked quite the debate was the Dowager. Probably because it had eluded me the first time I read the story. Jenny TV dies in the end by Lucas Christensen that he was the the dowager mentioned in that story but it sparked an interesting conversation. This got me researching all the dowagers in Dragon Age lore. So let's take a look at the dowagers with an S. In Dragon Age lore there have been a number of dowagers. A dowager is basically a widow with a title or property from her late husband, also a dignified elderly woman. In the story Jenna TV Dies in the End by Lucas Christensen from Tevinter Knights, the characters who gather clues to help save Thedas write up a romanticized version of their adventures for the protection, obviously, because they're run after, searched by the Kunari Rasan, and they say that they'll have it published by the Dowager. She's not mentioned by name. She's not described. She's merely referred to as the Dowager. Here is what we know of the Dowager, or how we know that Jenna TV is the Dowager mentioned in Devinter Nights. Philium, who's writing most of their story, says we should have brought the Dowager. Jenna TV replies, you could not afford her. So we know that she's expensive. The book narrative mentions the anonymous Randy Dowager routinely outsold all of them. So she was a bestseller, <laughs> especially in Orlay. With her collections of scarf fluttering smut, only Philium considered this competition. So. She's expensive, she writes smutty literature that the others scoff at, except for Philium. I don't mind a bit of smut myself. It's literature. Smutty literature. Jenny TV as the Dowager, he's a Chantry scholar, a brother of the Chantry, writing smut. But it's pretty funny. Later in the story, that Rasan will chase us, said Lu Zin, and her strange Antam, I'd rather change my name than have her take it. Easy for you to say, I have decades more with mine. That was Jenny TV speaking. We can have other names, said Philium. Becoming other people is kind of the job. But it was such a good name, said Jenny TV, gesturing with flair. Ferdinand Jenny TV. Philium rolled his eyes over to Lord Zinn. Told you we should have brought the Dowager. Well, said Jenny TV, perhaps her rates can be discussed. He winked. Hint, hint, nudge, 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 wink, wink. Philium's quill and jaw both dropped. As you said, child, we can have other names. <laughs> His pen name when he writes smut. Good book. I don't know what you're talking about. Jenny TV, the Dowager, writing smutty literature. So Brother Jenny TV is indeed the Randy Dowager. There is also Lady Mantillon Jr., aka the Dowager. <laughs> They're all called the Dowager, so this can get confusing. She is a member of the Orlesian Council of Heralds, which is the final arbiter over all disputes involving titles in Orlay. As briefly mentioned in my videos regarding the Orlesian Civil War, the War of the Lions. In Dragon Age Inquisition, Wicked Eyes, Wicked Hearts mission, she can be found talking with other nobles. The Inquisitor can invite her for a dance. During the mission she turns us down but then the war table op 
operation called Dance with the Dowager, the Allemande becomes available. Once that complete, she asks the Inquisitor for a second dance with the operation called Dance with the Dowager, the Courante. Apparently, she has a bunch of dead husbands. Nine, to be precise. Laurent was the love of my life. You remember my husband? Poor darling. Killed in the war with Ferelden. Her first husband, Laurent, died during the war between Ferelden and Orlais. Her second husband, Philippe, was thrown off his horse. Third husband, Pierre, died from Rosalia, and after his death, she swore off marriage. Sure, we'll go with that. Fourth husband, Maximilien swept her off her feet. Their marriage was a scandal. He was almost half her age. She was horrified to learn of his death, a hunting death killed by a bear, and it took four chevaliers to hunt down the animal. Fifth husband, Gérard, apparently fell from the Grand Cathedral's bell tower. So the story goes. Uh kind of sketchy. She says that to this day, no one knows why he was there. Murder. Assassination. Sixth husband, Hervé, was an acquaintance of the guy to whom she's telling all this. She and Hervé had installed a rose garden and he got stung by a bee one day while gardening. Turns out he was allergic. So there goes that. Seventh husband, Renard. She told him to never drink aqua Lucidius on an empty stomach. He died after being poisoned by three glasses of it. She says she takes comfort in knowing he died at Chateau Ain. Uh, I wouldn't take comfort knowing what went on there. Eighth husband, Nazaire, died when he was tragically crushed by a cartload of fine handbags. What? You have to be standing right behind the cart. It has to be packed full with handbags, fine handbags. And it has to like, you know, all of the manure in Back to the Future, like, but handbags. And I don't know, they have to have runes on them or something or a conk on the head. I don't know. Uh, how do you die from an attack of handbags? <laughs> Let's play Four Ways to Die. I don't think you've ever thought of this way. Ninth husband, Etienne, died in a violent tailoring accident. Tailoring? What, was he attacked by a bunch of needles and thimbles? If you're ever playing improv games, Four Ways to Die, well, there you go. You got nine ways right here. Original ways. There was an ancient dowager looking for you. Said she had 12 daughters. I told her you'd left already. You can thank me later or now. So that was Lady Montillon Jr. Her mother or grandmother, it's not specified. Lady Montillon Sr. was a noble woman of renown and she excelled at the game. She was the mistress of Emperor Florian Valmont and she manipulated people and events in her favors. Lady Mantillon had sent her son to win Celine's hand, which of course he did not. But Lady Mantillon was impressed by Celine. They both saw Florian as weak and believed he could drag Orlay into chaos. Celine hinted at Lady Mantillon, that went high-pitched, that Florian needed to die quickly. To hide Céline's part in the murder, Lady Mantillon suggested that assassins remove anyone who might know of the plot and could be bribed, including servants and Briala's parents. Céline agreed to this, believing they would all be bribed. But instead of being bribed, they were all killed. And later, Briala murdered Lady Mantillon. Apparently, this is indeed her portrait. Found in Chateau Anne from Dragon Age 2, Mark of the Assassin, and in various places in Orlais, 
in Dragon Age Inquisition, found in many households, especially in Orlais. While it's unclear whether Lady Mantillon Sr. was the mother or grandmother of Lady Mantillon's junior, I believe she was her grandmother. Her son would have been Celine's age or older to proposition her and so he w could have found a wife and would have had Lady Mantillon Jr. as his daughter. So Lady Mantillon Sr.'s son would be Lady Mantillon Jr.'s father. <laughs> hey, this is confusing, especially in Orlais. At least it should be amusing. We haven't had such a menagerie at court in living memory. Another dowager of Dragon Age lore appears in the last court, which can be played from the Dragon Age keep. She is known as the Acerbic Dowager, not Ascorbic. She is the widow of the former vassal of Sereau, who was overthrown by his subjects. The previous Marquis, the mother of the current ruler, gave the Ascorbic Dowager sanctuary at their chateau in Sereau. The Ascorbic Dowager was once a scholar and collected letters, journals, and edicts written by Orlais Emperor and empresses. In the last court, the dowager falls ill a few days before the arrival of the divine. It's discovered that she was poisoned by one of her ladies-in-waiting with wyvern poison. The Marquis hunts down the wyvern to create an anti-venom that saves the dowager's life. Also, while returning to the prayer at the chantry, she's pelted with dung <coughs> by some peasants. She has them apprehended and brought before the Marquis for judgment. We can dine with the Dowager, drink wine with the Dowager, listen to the Dowager tell tales of the Emperor, give gifts, save her, have her become a counselor, and such. I believe these are all the known the Dowagers of Dragon Age lore, and Brother Genitivi is but one of them. Perhaps you will save me a dance for later? Good evening, milady. Which one of these four dowagers is the most scandalous dowager? Genitivi writing smut? Lady Mantillon Jr. with nine dead husbands who died very strange and very peculiar deaths? Lady Mantillon Sr. who killed Briella's parents? Or the acerbic dowager who got poop? thrown at her and fell ill from wyvern poison. Let me know in the comments below. I think the most hilarious dowager is Genitivi. Scandalous? Not necessarily. I think the most scandalous one is Lady Mantillon Jr. with her nine dead husbands. But I'm curious to know your thoughts and opinions about the dowagers. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to Be Jimmy Approved, check out playlists for videos such as this one, check out my book and my merch, and I'll see you all soon. Masaranas. If you're new here and you like my content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Like it if you like it, for the like it if you like it dance. You can also follow my website, binkyproductions.com, where I post everything from all my channels. Exclusive! If you want to support me, consider buying my book, Stardust Destinies 1, Variant Facing, Magic, Dragons, Fantasy, all relevant links below. Thank you so much for your time. Your continued viewership is very much appreciated. Maseranas.